Thank you, honorable justices and judges and ladies and gentlemen. You know, as I stand here, I think it's not every day, Rick, that someone can be in a room and listen to their own eulogy being given. <laughs> a uh, funny thing happened to me on the way to law school. True story. I was accosted by a naked man. <laughs> Almost 56 years ago, I was in a men's locker room at OSU gym my first class, my career, and a naked man approached me and stuck out his hand <laughs> and said, hi, my name is Rick Marsh. <laughs> True story. And so began 56 years of friendship. Rick and, I, Rick and I started together. He looks much better dressed, I assure you. Rick goes back, let me reminisce a little bit with all of you. Rick goes back when there were no electric typewriters, and then this electric came along, remember? When there were no copy machines, but we did have a thermofax with crinkled paper. There were no dictating machines, and secretaries had to have shorthand. In short, Rick goes back to the days when air was clean and sex was dirty. <laughs> But what did we have? We had onion skin. We had carbon paper. Ask your kids about that one. We had correct to type. We had $1 bar association luncheons, including tip, remember? And we had camaraderie. Rick's only experience with drugs was what he could buy at a pharmacy. Rick got his high on jury trials. Ladies and gentlemen, he was high a lot because he has had 600 or so jury trials. Beat that, 600. You go back to the days of Foster Latham when he was assignment commissioner. I got a smile from a few of the old guys here. And those are the days when the courtrooms were so short in supply that you could get a call literally at noon and be told you have a trial starting at 1.30 because your number was up. And when that case was over, you might go on to your next one. You could be on your second case while the jury was still out on the first case. Rick holds a record, I believe, unmatched. We had three cases going back to back in those days. Rick also acknowledges that AIDS now is an issue among our generation why there is roll aids, <laughs> hearing aids, walking aids, and aid to the kids. Rick loves tennis. Rick loves one of his partners who I'd like to stand up and be recognized. His favorite partner, Sherry, stand up and be recognized. <laughs> Rick told me, he said, Ace, I can only wish you as much happiness as I have given to Sherry. <laughs> Rick is a graduate of Ohio State three times. Undergraduate degree, law school degree, and the OSU marching band degree, where he was the drum major. This is the fellow that goes backwards and keeps hitting his head on the turf, which explains a lot. <laughs> Rick is religious. Every morning he says a prayer, Lord, keep me humble, for truly I am a great lawyer. <laughs> Rick, along many of you, will be practicing very shortly in his third common pleas courthouse in Franklin County. He's known for insurance defense much of his work is representing lawyers. So therefore, I give you not only my friend, but a lawyer's lawyer. Rick, come forward.